Welcome to Watercolor Lessons with Kathy. I'm Kathy Nichols, and I'm a lifelong artist, painter, and teacher. I help students of all ages tap into their creativity with watercolor. Watercolor is a great way to express yourself, and it's easy to get started and fun to do. I hope you join me to learn how to paint with watercolor. I can't wait to see your paintings. Hi. Today, in our lesson, we'll be painting a golden dragonfly. Today's lesson, we'll be using four techniques, three brushes, and five paints. In this video, I will show you two different compositions, one with a white background as a relief and one with color. You can pick which one you choose to do. Feel free to use today's painting as a model. painting a dragonfly. Let's start with round with pointed tip brush. But first, wet your pans of paint here with your water bottle and put some water in your cup. And take your round with pointed tip brush and load with cadmium yellow and add a touch of burnt sienna. Mix it in your palette there. Now once again I'll be using a template for the wings and I did half the wings. Place it on your paper where you want it. I'm putting mine right in the middle of the paper, this composition, and trace. Then flip. And I'm leaving a little bit of a space between the wings there. All right, now we have the basic shape of the wings. I'm adding water to my brush and spreading the paint on the wings so there's not the outline showing. Seems a little dark, so I'm gonna lift some of that paint off. Wetting my brush. Giving it a little dab there. Keep spreading into the bottom wing. Okay. 
I need to let my brush Start on the other side there. Wetting my brush, I need a little bit more paint. continue on to the lower wing here. Now if you think the line here is too dark, you just need to wet that area and it will lighten up. This part seems too light, so I'm loading my brush with some more paint, like so. Okay, now we'll start with a body. So you will want to load your brush with cadmium yellow again and some of the burnt sienna. And you might want to make it a shade darker. So add a little more than a touch, like so. So we'll start with a tail. And the tail is going to start about right here and work your way up. And when the, the tail comes up to the body, it becomes wider. So we'll do that. And then it'll round at the top where the wings are, and we'll add the head. Now it's time to dry. So pick up your liner brush again. Now on this dragonfly, there's yellow spread out on the bottom wings right here. So I'm going to add that. And I'm loading my brush with Just the yellow. Checking it here. 
Okay. Need to wet my brush. And I'm not covering the whole wing, just maybe halfway. And then do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Now on this dragonfly, there's brown spots about right here on the wing, on both the upper wing and the bottom wing. And it's more of a brown color. So I'm using my mixture here where I have some of the cadmium yellow and some of the burnt sienna. And I'm adding more of the burnt sienna because I want it to be more of a brown tone. And it's just a spot about so and also on the bottom like that now we're going to use this color to go into the body starting at the bottom of the tail tail and there's the little rivets and we're making the rivets stand out by using this darker tone of brown color. And then in the body, it's mostly that color. I need to mix some more paint here. a little stronger like so and then up on the upper part make it definition where the eyes are like so Now I'm going to take some of that color and just make some faint lines. Along the wing here. And again, if it's too strong, you need to water it down. Just some little scraggly lines there. Do the same on the top. And then spread them. And again, if they're too strong, wet your brush and fade them. A little bit like that. Now I'm working on the other side. A little strong, just wet your brush and you can fix that. Now, down to the second lower part of the wing. too dark, but easy. And 
like so. Well, there's a little darker area in the body and we'll fix that, but first need to dry again. Again, we're pick up your liner brush and mix intense blue with burnt umber. And add some burnt sienna to it. Again, if you're not sure of the color, Take your paper towel and test it on it. Okay, that's about the color I want. And I'm just going to go in the body. Again, if it's too dark, you can water down, water it down, and dab it. That's my brush here. Sneaking a little more definition on the body here. Working my way down the tail. Okay, then step back and look at it. And I'm happy with mine, so I'm going to stop now. And you might like yours with a with a relief and a stark white background, so you can stop. But if you don't, stay tuned, and we will show you how to add background to background to it. So stay tuned. Here we go. First, take your mop brush, wet it. Now, we're, we will not wet the paper. We want to be careful not to run into the dragonfly. So we will start with intense blue. And I'm starting at the top here. And a lot of times when you see dragonfly, they're by water, so. We're going to make some water here. And carefully go around the dragonfly. Need to load my brush, one more paint. Now with the water, I'm doing about half of the page with the blue here. Okay, 
and around to the other side. And if your watercolor, if there's water pulling, you just take your brush and move it around. Like so. Okay, now wet your mop brush and load it with sap green. And I think I need a touch of the cadmium yellow and start at the bottom and work your way up. And we're going to make stalks of grass like weeds. Now if it runs a little bit, you can just take your paper towel and dab the line like that. So I'm going to start at the very bottom, go all the way across. And work my way up. Make some more paint. Carefully going along where the dragonfly is. Okay, now it's time to dry again. Get the one spot here. Now take your round with pointed tip brush. So this will be the lightest green. Now we're now let's make a medium green. 
So I have a little bit of the mixture here and I'm just adding the sap green to that mixture to get, uh, I would say a medium green color. And going in and putting some blades of grass. Just what I find is if you start on one side and just work your way across and randomly put those blades of grass and not think about it too much. Until you come to the other side of your composition, that's when you'll need to stop and stand back and look at your composition. All right, so there's a second blaze. One more layer. So take your sap green and add some burnt sienna. And that should make the next layer. And start making those blades of grass. like so. Now stand back. I like it. Can you see my dragonfly? I really enjoyed doing this lesson with you and I hope you did too. To learn about new lessons and more videos coming up, please subscribe, tap the bell, and hit like. Take care, be safe, and see you soon.